trend residuals gridding assigns node values based on the differences between the control points and the regional trends within your data. For example, if we start out with some control points and fit a polynomial to this data as described within the previous video, the differences, as shown by the gray tubes between the original control points and the polynomial trend surface, represent the residuals. A contour map of these residuals using inverse distance weighting shows the extent to which these observed values differ from the polynomial trend surface. Negative residuals represent points that lie below the polynomial trend surface, while positive points are above the surface. Examining the anomalous residuals is a great way to find bad data, such as transposed digits within the z-values or transposed coordinates. Modeling the residuals using other directional algorithms, such as Krieging, can also be a great way to remove the regional trend in order to see the secondary directionalities. We'll cover this later on in a video that describes the Utilities Grid Trend Surface Programs. Advantages? Trend surface residuals identifies local anomalies from or relative to the regional trend. Trend surface residuals is good for locating bad data. And trend surface residuals is a good method for removing the regional trend to see secondary features. The disadvantages are that trend surface residuals does not offer meaningful information if there is no regional trend.